It is the worst fear. Uh, she was barely speaking to me. I mean, we were having some issues over this. and Oh, I'm going to need some tissues called put down here. <laughs> I would lay awake at night and you wouldn't even know it. And I've got my hands on you, you know, in the middle of the night, begging God for you to be okay. Well, hello and welcome to our podcast where you've got a couple of real people, you know, talking about real life and, and hopefully providing some real answers to some of the things of life. I'm Ed Kendrick. I'm the pastor of Heartland Church, and this is my lovely wife, Nancy. Hello. And uh, so we try to come from time to time to you guys and and uh, answer questions that uh, some of you have asked some, uh, on some topics you'd like to discuss. So we have a little card, and the card provides us with the question. So today we're going to be talking about, we're going to answer this question, I guess. How have you seen God answer prayer? That's a big question, mm -hmm. and uh, we've um, been together for a long time, and also mm -hmm. we've been in ministry for quite a long time mm -hmm. now, so mm -hmm. we've seen God answer so many prayers Oof. in so many ways, um, but um, let's go back. I think maybe let's go back and sort of start years and years ago. One way we saw God answer prayer in a big way was early in our lives, mm -hmm. uh, we struggled uh, in the, the department of having children. It yes. was difficult for us to have children. I'll let you tell that story. Well, we had been married five years, and so we decided we had been married long enough that we'd like to add a third party <laughs> to our relationship. <laughs> and, you know, when you start sitting around at night and looking at each other going, Hmm, maybe it's time for a baby. <laughs> so, you know, you think, well, you know, in a few months, I'm going to be announcing that we're having a baby. Well, a year went by, two years went by, three years, four years. We're at our fifth year mm -hmm. and so discouraged and multiple doctor's appointments and still nothing, no answers. And so... We were like, hey, we could pray about this. Yeah. We've been praying <laughs> We have about been that praying about it. I know. About we that. have been praying about it. And so um, I was prayed for by a pastor. And that was in February of 87. And I was pregnant two months later. Yeah. So, but to talk about how we saw God answer that prayer is through a lot of prayer. We, we got serious, I think, and we've talked about that before. There's times you pray and then there's times we call it, I'm about to do some business with God. You know, that's the way yeah. I like to say it. I'm about to get serious and do some business with God. Not that you're not serious about other prayers, but I think, you know, everybody knows what I'm talking about. And um, so we prayed diligently and prayed together. We got on our knees. We got on our face before God. And we told him the desires of our heart that we wanted to have a baby. Right. And... He answered those prayers. Right. It, it's, it was, yeah. I say it was just a miracle. Right. It's and, just a miracle. And I think, in, you know, in our case, uh, God answered that prayer in the right. affirmative. He right. He doesn't always happen for people. That's right. And we don't always understand God's plan. We know that mm -hmm. it's perfect. And, right. And, but in our case, um, I, I guess it was in God's plan for us to have a child. Right. But um, we did pray and uh, for a while, for a long time. And then... Uh, we got to a point to where uh, there was a pastor that we knew mm -hmm. that was a great friend of our uh, family, Nancy's mom and dad's, uh, they were good friends of theirs. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, he uh, prayed for Nancy and he was an absolute prayer warrior. His name um, was, his, he's gone to mm -hmm. be with the Lord now. His name was yeah. James Miller. He was an absolute prayer warrior. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was pastor in a little church uh, in uh, down in Bowling Green, Florida. And we went down to the church, and, and uh, he prayed for Nancy, and a couple mm -hmm. months later she was pregnant. So we saw God answer prayer in that particular situation mm -hmm. for That's us. That was our a big, 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 big prayers. 
Um, and, uh, I mean, there's a million little prayers, I mean, that God has answered over the years and he continues to answer right. all, all the time. Um, when we, um, began to feel the call or I did to go to seminary, uh, to leave my job and to go, <laughs> go into vocational ministry, I felt like God was calling me into seminary and, um, and Nancy didn't share those feelings in, in, in the beginning. <laughs> You're and, being uh, really nice <laughs> right now. <laughs> and, uh, and so, uh, I was praying, uh, you probably, we were playing a little different prayers maybe at the time, <laughs> but I was praying uh, that, um, Lord fix his mind. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I, I was praying that God would, I was like, God, if you're calling me to do this, you're calling my wife too and right. my family. And, and I was praying for God to work that out. And, and, uh, that but, was a bizarre way that he answered that prayer. Yeah. I thought that, that was one of those times when you're praying and, and, and seeing God answer a prayer. Um, I, I felt uh, the, the call to go into full-time vocational ministry. And I, I knew that seminary was the thing. I think, I think mm-hmm. we knew that. And uh, that I that I knew that, and and uh, and and you really weren't on, on board at the time, and Mm-mm. and I think there was there's a lot we could go into. It, right. Probably there was some fear, there was some uncertainty in the future. Had a good career path, had a lot of things going on, and all of a sudden I just throw this wrench into the, the whole mix, going that I believe God's calling me into this. And so, but we started praying about that. But uh, um, Nancy didn't really want to have you didn't really want to have too much to do with it. Uh, you were sort of depressed about it, and you were crying a lot. You and Lauren both mm-hmm. are in, at the time, you, you know, this is going to change our entire life. What are we going to do? How are we going well, we to feed ourselves? We're leaving family. And we're leaving family to go church. away. Yeah, and our church was so important to mm-hmm. us. And uh, just to make this a, a, a short story, mm-hmm. um, w- one, one day um, uh, you called, did you call me? Mm-hmm. Uh, she, Nancy called. No, you called me at work. I called Nancy at yes. work uh-huh. and, uh, she was barely speaking to me. I mean, we were having some issues over this and, and, um, sh- she just unloaded on me and I mean, unloaded. And, uh, and if you, uh, have been married for any length of time, <laughs> you know that there are times in life when someone unloads on you. And this was one of those times. Mm-hmm. And, and so, I just um, literally got up from the phone call, um, closed the door to my office at the bank, uh, got down on my knees, and I prayed and, and just said, you know, God, if you're calling me to this, you're calling my family to this, you're, you're not calling me to this to destroy my family. You have got to do something in, in Nancy's life. You've got, there's, you've got to change her heart. And what happened? Well, I, my daily routine was to wake up every morning and be so upset and crying and sad. I think that was one of my words. I was just sad to leave our family and our friends and our church. Mm-hmm. You know, we were so involved. And um, so I got up that morning, the next morning, and I was like, okay, let me go in there and start crying. And I just... I didn't feel like that at all. So I went to work. When I came home, you were in your office. And I pushed the door open and I said, what have you done? And you said, you have peace. And I did. It was. I've only seen God work like that a couple of times in my life, that he worked that quickly in changing me and so profound I was never sad again I was like let's go I'm I'm ready to go Lauren was ready to go and you know best three years of our life yeah. was there some of the best years of our yeah. life was there so. and it was a, it was a dramatic change because I remember you being just so upset and I remember I even remember Lauren was upset because you were upset she might not have she was what she was like getting close to middle school age mm-hmm. and so she maybe didn't quite grasp everything that was going on but she knew mom was upset right. and that she could I think feel the tension between us and we prayed about that and, and man, God really did it, something great it, it was crazy but I've often thought about okay Lord why was I not on board to begin with what was the reasoning for me going through that so you don't always know because he, he, you know, in a few weeks, he changed. So 
why didn't he just let me start out <laughs> being on board? Right. But we don't know why he wor- how he works sometimes. And I'm sure there was a reason, and we may never know, but I'm sure it was to glorify him in some way. And maybe to grow you. And to grow me. In some way. Right. Yeah. So. And it was a matter a matter of trust and, and but but he answered the prayer. He answered and, it. And and and, mm-hmm. uh, and changed our lives and then we mm-hmm. went off to seminary and and had an incredible time. I mean, I'm, I'm going to tell you that was some of the best years of our lives and yeah. we just had a great time while we were there. Lauren still says the yeah. best three years of our lives. Yeah, and just just a great time, mm-hmm. and. Um, so that was another time that we, you know, how, how we've seen God answer prayer in our lives. Uh, also, through, through, through just the stuff of life, um, you know, uh, we, we, like every family, experience um, ups and downs in, in our lives. We've, we have, uh, over the course of uh, our marriage, uh, in the last not so many years, um, we've lost uh, three parents. Mm-hmm. Uh, both, both of your parents and my mom, mm-hmm. um, uh, through the course of those things, uh, there was a lot of prayer. Mm-hmm. Uh, your mom was, your mom especially was ill for a long time mm-hmm. and was on dialysis and kidney dialysis and those kind of things. And, and she was a, just a, just a solid Christian and loved the Lord. And I mean, lots of prayers, uh, over the course of those times when she would be going through something difficult and we saw God answer prayer and, mm-hmm. and, 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 uh, and, you know, then you, with, um, me personally, um, I went through, I've been through a couple of health, uh, crises that we never expected. Okay. And, and you're um, talking about, we can stick on this for a minute. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Don't mind. Go ahead. <laughs> but, oh, I'm going to need some tissues called the down here. Um, you talking about praying? I don't know if I've ever prayed like that in my life when you got your first thyroid cancer diagnosis. I don't, I don't know if I've ever <laughs> begged God <laughs> for anything before as much as I did for you to be okay through that, that was, and no matter how much you tell yourself, you got to have faith, you got to have trust, you know this is going to be for God's glory in some way, that fear is, it's crippling. It is the worst fear that, Probably my top three most fears, is that how you say it, in my life has been that. Because I would lay awake at night and you wouldn't even know it. And I've got my hands on you, you know, in the middle of the night, begging God for you to be okay and everything to work out. And when you were and now you are and we're on the other side of that, When someone at church tells me, hey, I'm going in for a scan, I'm going in for a test, it's it's a different kind of a feeling when I pray for them. It is that desperate prayer that I feel for them when I'm like, Lord, please let them be okay and let this scan be okay. I now know what they feel like. Yeah. And so sometimes I wonder, is that why you went through that? Because we have talked about this, that someone would say, I'm going in for this test. And we're like, okay, we'll pray for you. And you, you do and you pray do. for them. You do pray for them. But it's a different kind of prayer now that you've been through. Yeah. It. But, yeah. we saw, but we saw God answer prayer even, even through that. Um, you know, there's a, when you're diagnosed with something, and you, 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 all of a sudden, you know, I can, I will never forget ever as long as I live, the first appointment that I had at the Hollis uh, Cancer Center over in Lakeland. Mm-hmm. And uh, I can remember the two of us getting out of the car and, you know, traipsing up to the, to the building. And I remember looking up and seeing the words Hollis Cancer Center and stopping mm-hmm. and just 
just just that. thinking, man, I, I'm not supposed to be here. Right. And um, I'm supposed to be praying for people that are here. Mm-hmm. And I'm supposed to be by the bedside of people that are here. I'm not right. supposed to be the guy that's here. And But we, we prayed so hard. And through that, God answered prayer. It could have been a lot worse mm-hmm. in, uh, in the kind of country it was and all. There could have been some right. bad ramifications. God took care of all of that right. through, through that. And, um, and, and he answered we prayer. Prayed prayers that earnestly over other things. We've seen him answer them in yes. We've seen him answer in no. And we've seen him answer in the worst one, wait. (laughs) Yeah, wait is always tough. Wait is tough. Wait is always tough. But we've seen him in, you know, in all those different things. We, uh, you know, we, uh, I think the first uh, podcast we did was about uh, talked a little bit about, you know, your possessions and those kind of things. Mm-hmm. And we've seen him work in our finances uh, mm-hmm. as we've prayed through the years. We've seen him do some amazing things there. Right. Uh, prayer is so important. You know, um, you know, God's word is so clear. There's so many, so much to be said and so many verses about praying, praying for little things, praying for big things, mm-hmm. praying without ceasing. And, um, and, you know, sometimes I think we uh, get sometimes you can sort of get tired of praying uh, about something. Um, you know, I, I just literally had a conversation with someone this week that, that there's something they've been praying for for years, and they they told me they had stopped that they were just literally exhausted mm. in praying for it. And and um, but 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 you know then you get then you get to take a moment, and this is the cool thing. Then you get to take a moment and do exactly what we're doing right now. You get to take a moment and you get to say. Don't stop praying. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you about something. Right. And, and, you know, you get to use those experiences where where God showed up and answered your prayer. And you say, let me tell you what God did in our life. Right. And, you know, we didn't give up. You can't give up because you don't know if tomorrow's the day. And and you don't know what he's going to do. Look at Lauren. Yeah. Yeah. Five years we prayed for Lauren. Right. Five years. There was times you wanted to go forget it. I don't, yeah. I, you know, here I am again, Lord. <laughs> it's me again. I'm yeah. praying about that same right. thing. And now, and then, and then, then just your family. Um, uh, and then when you're, then when your children grow up, like she's grown up now, she has her own children and, uh, and you know, your prayer life shifts a little bit in seasons of life. I mean, mm-hmm. you still have some of the same things you pray about, but it shifts a little bit in seasons of life. Mm-hmm. You start praying for your child. You start praying for them as a parent. Then you start praying for those grandchildren that come along. And, and we've seen God answer prayers. Mm-hmm. And uh, there's consistent prayers that we've always prayed, like probably most everybody that's watching prayed. I bet everybody, every single one of us have probably prayed. Mm-hmm. We want God, you to protect our family. Right. You know, God, we want you to keep your, your hand on us. Uh, God, we're going through a difficult time and, and we need direction in this thing. I think mm-hmm. all of us pray for those kind of things. We have um, a, a million times and we, we continue to do that. Lord, uh, the life of our church, I mm. mean, starting Heartland and, and, and all the things the church has been through and uh, difficult times and good times. And, um, you know, we've, we've prayed and we've seen God do amazing things. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I jokingly tell the story sometime. You will remember this story. Um, what, when we were new and young and we, we, we uh, our church was young and, um, we started having some families come to Heartland. There were just a few people coming mm-hmm. and we had some families coming and they had teenagers and we oh. didn't have anything Nothing. to offer the teenagers. And, um, and so the families would sort of come and visit us a couple of times and then they would leave and they were trying to find a place because, you know, a lot of parents will find a place where if their teenagers want to go to church, they'll go, we'll go to church there. Our, our kids want to go to church mm-hmm. and, and they didn't want to come where we, we didn't have anything to offer them. And we started right. praying for, um, a, a student pastor and, and, uh, and one night a guy called us up and, and, uh, him and his wife were on their way back from Tampa and said, and I had just told you, I had just said to you, we had just talked about, we like sushi. So we were like, Hey, let's go get some sushi. Mm -hmm. And, and I'm not kidding. 20 seconds later, the phone rings and this guy calls and he says, Hey, my wife and I are coming in from Tampa. Can we get you? We'd love to take you guys for sushi. And I'm like, thank you, God. There's an answer prayer, free sushi. And uh, so we we were like, this is exciting. So we're, we're going to be with friends. We're going to get some yeah. sushi. And we're not even going to have to pay for it. This is a good deal. <laughs> so we, we go that night and we sit down at dinner. And we're sitting there. And this guy looks across the table and says, What's, what does the church need? And I started sharing about student pastor. 
how much will it take? And I told him how much money we needed. And we could, I think at the time, budget-wise, we could afford to pay $12,000 a year for somebody. <laughs> it really, literally, that was it. But I, he says, well, how much more will it take? And I told him. And he said, I'll be at your house in the morning. And he stroked me a check, mm-hmm. a big multi-thousand dollars yep. check, and said, go get your student pastor. Mm-hmm. And, and I jokingly tell people something that God can even answer prayers <laughs> through sushi. I mean, he can do it however he wants to do it. We, and that's when, not the way we had even thought it would work out. No. At all. No, it was re- remote, not remotely the same thing. Right. And then we, we needed, we were growing and we needed someone to sort of manage the office. And we didn't have any money in the budget. We couldn't pay anybody anything. We were anything. all cleaning bathrooms. Yeah, and- we were all doing everything. <laughs> and we started praying about it. And God just brought a person to me. That just And I was telling them about it, and they said, well, how much would it cost to get a person? I said, this much a year. And they just stroked a check for the first year and just answered prayer. And so we've seen it in the church over and over and over. Mm -hmm. God is faithful. I mean, you know, he tells us in his word to pray. And when we're faithful and we're obedient, I think, and we pray. And we, and, and, you know, and we're we're told to, that when we ask to ask, and believe, right? Not, not, not to, you know, you know. He says if you're not believing, if you don't have the faith in James, I think it says says that you're unstable. Right. You know, if you, if you don't do that, it, it, we're like a person that's tossed around by the waves or whatever. And so we pray with faith and we believe, and we've seen God come through time and time again. I mean, when we started Heartland, I, we started Heartland at, at seminary. Me, gonna, we decided to become church planners. I can remember scratching out the first logo on a napkin sitting in the book room of the bookstore where you were, the back room of the bookstore where you worked. And, and, and we started the church never dreaming in a million years that God would do with this, with Heartland, what he's done with Heartland. And it's just one answered prayer right. after another right. answered prayer. One of the big, and I'm talking a lot right now, but remember this prayer. Remember how we used to pray when we were small and we had, we had all these, we had a group of people coming to Heartland and we knew everybody. Mm -hmm. They were kind of friends and family and Mm -hmm. maybe a couple people that had come from our sponsoring church. And remember the prayer we used to pray all the Mm -hmm. time that our, our prayer was that we would come to church Uh and that 90% of the people sitting in the seats, we we had never met, didn't know. know. And now (laughs) <laughs> we, we come to church and we see all those people. We see yeah. thousands of people and we, we come and, and it's an answered prayer. It's, right. it's, it's cool. And I know this is, I'm going to throw this in real quick, but I know this isn't always possible, but when you and I join forces and we pray together, I think it's even more powerful. Yeah. And I'm saying that for for us. When we say we're going to get serious, let's go in there and we pray together about something. Mm-hmm. There's just something about that for me. Mm-hmm. And I that's one of my favorite things when I know we're we're fighting for this together. We're praying, you know, together on this. So Yeah. And, and, and can we be like real honest? <laughs> we don't we, get this right all the time. Okay, no. just want you to know. No, uh, you know we. There are times when we remind each other. Probably she reminds me more than I remind her. That hey, I know we're praying about this. We're each praying about this, but we really need to pray about this together. And so, because life gets busy, right? We all get busy and, 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 and that happens. And, but sometimes. I've had a lot of people tell me, and I'm sure a lot of you feel the same way. It's hard to pray in front of your spouse. You know, <laughs> it, it it's, it's kind yeah, of yeah. hard to pray in front of your spouse. Especially when you're trying to pray and say, God, would you tell them to stop doing this? Stuff like that. But but it is it is. It's it a, is. you know, and you know, it, it, it because prayer is an intimate thing. Very intimate. And one of the most intimate things that ever happens between mm-hmm. people. I mean, it, it is an intimate thing. You're bearing your soul and your heart right. to God and you're pouring that out. Mm-hmm. And you're making yourself a little vulnerable at that point mm-hmm. in time. I know as a guy sometimes it can be a little bit difficult because I want 
as a husband, I want you to know and think that I can handle pretty much anything that comes along. <laughs> and so when I'm going to God, and I'm going, God, I'm failing at this and I'm really <laughs> stupid and I'm not doing, you know, it's kind of hard to say in front of your wife. I usually know all those things anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you probably do. I do. But 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 it's but but what we know, what we can say. I think what we can say, we can say this with with conviction. God answers prayer. He does. We have seen him answer mm. prayer in our life in our personal lives. We've seen him answer prayer in our church lives. Mm -hmm. We've, we've seen him answer prayer as we've prayed for others. We've yes. seen so many answer prayers. Mm -hmm. You know, at Heartland, we, one of the things we do is we have people come up and we have those crosses and we have people put prayer requests up on the crosses and we take those down and pray for those, uh, you know, in our staff meetings and mm -hmm. stuff. We've seen so many answer prayers. And, and, and so in our home, you know, in our lives, um, we believe in the power mm. of prayer. Mm. And uh, we believe that um, God answers prayer. Um, we believe sometimes that God changes circumstances and direction because of our prayers. Mm -hmm. You know, God's plan is going to unfold regardless. Right. But but sometimes, you know, God will, will answer prayers and change things. Remember in the Bible when Hezekiah was sick mm -hmm. uh, and, and he prayed and God gave him additional years. Right. God's plan still unfolded. Things right. still worked out the way they were supposed to. But God gave him those additional years. Right. Well, we believe that and we, we pray. Um, for each other. We pray for our family. We pray for the church. We pray because we've seen God answer prayers over and over again. So many times. So many times. And to all, you know, to you guys that are watching, you know, I hope that you're encouraged by what we're talking about today, because one thing that I can tell you that both of us would encourage you to do is to pray. Obviously, individually, take a time every day, spend some time with God praying mm -hmm. because he does answer prayers. Yeah. But, but if, man, if you're a couple or you're a family, pray together because it's powerful. And, and, and I tell you something else it does as you go through your life and as you get a little further down the road and you've witnessed God answer prayer, when you go through difficult times, it gives you hope, so mm -hmm. much hope mm -hmm. because you, you, you've seen him do it before. You've seen him answer prayer before, and you know that he can answer those prayers, and it's yeah. so important. Right. So I don't know. You have anything else mm -hmm. about prayer today? Well, oh, I think we've yeah. covered it pretty good, and um, I hope that you've taken away something that will, will help you. And, um, you know, if you go to the comments, let us know maybe a time when God's answered prayer for you, mm -hmm. or let us know something you're praying for that we can pray with you about. Just, just let us know because we know that he answers prayer. We know prayer is powerful. We're convinced of it. We hope that you're convinced of it. We know that God's word says he answers prayer. So, Hey, let us know how it's going. Let us know what you need. Keep us posted. We'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for listening. God bless.